In the March 2021 Adobe Update, After Effects received a brand new feature called Multi-Frame Rendering. In this video, we're going to cover what this means and why the update is a big deal to users. If you go on to like this video, consider giving it a like and subscribing to FilterGrade for more tutorials and news. Multi-frame rendering, in Adobe's own words, was the most requested feature to add into After Effects. Essentially, it allows the After Effects renderer to utilize multiple cores of your CPU. So there was a lot of performance being left on the table before. After all, if you're serious about After Effects, you probably have at least an 8-core processor, probably 16, so it really was a waste to not be able to use multi-core rendering. At the start, this update brought multi-core rendering for exporting, which is a great help that will speed up renders. But as time goes on, they will also be adding multi-core support for previews, dynamic link, and motion graphics templates. The new render queue shows three separate progress bars. One is exported frames in blue, as you're used to. Dark green represents frames ready to be exported. Then light green is frames currently rendering. This gives you a better idea of what's happening in your render queue as it's happening. So how much faster will your renders be now? A lower end system with a 4 to 6 core CPU with 16 gigabytes of RAM will render 1.2 to 1.4 times faster. A mid range system with 8 to 10 cores and 16 to 32 gigabytes of RAM will result in render times that are 1.6 to 1.75 times faster. And a high end system with 16 to 64 cores along with 48 to 128 gigabytes of RAM will see render times that are up to 2 to 3 times faster. So obviously these improvements are going to make the most difference for a higher end computer, but either way, you're going to save a ton of time. Here's my own computer rendering the multi-frame rendering test project without multi-frame rendering and with multi-frame rendering. In the normal version of After Effects, it took 14 minutes and 47 seconds, but it only took 9 minutes and 19 seconds using multi-frame rendering. This ended up being an increase of about 1.6 times, which seems in line with Adobe's estimates since I'm running a higher end 6 core processor with 32 gigs of RAM. All of this is available in the beta version of After Effects, so if you want to try it out and see how fast your renders are now, you can give it a shot yourself. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.